to Back to the Tink Envelope. I am so excited to be unboxing Trunk Club with you. I have not opened a Trunk Club box in a very long time, and they were one of my original favorites, like one of my founder, founders for like starting this whole channel in the first place. So I'm super excited. Um, Nordstrom now owns them. Nordstrom's owned them for a little while, but first time since I have ordered a box, which means my Nordstrom credit card works, my Nordstrom perks work, all of the good stuff is there. Um, things, and I wrote some stuff down, that they offer now, or as you could obviously order a trunk, you can visit one of their clubhouses and they make custom clothing now. So they just totally are like taking over the subscription box world clothing game. They do men's and women's clothing. Um, they price match with Nordstrom and um, the average price point is about $40 to $300 per item. So I would definitely say 40, I would find to be cheap for them. It's a higher end box. So when you open it right here, it says, whoo, it's heavy y'all. There's something for you in every trunk and it talks about where to find them on Instagram. Swing that guy over, swing that guy over and that's what's inside. They do everything that Nordstrom does. So shoes, jewelry, handbags, clothes, accessories, belts, hats, they can do it all. Um, they do send a preview link in advance. So this is not a complete shock. I was able to go in and be like, yes, I love this. No, I don't love this. Uh, I already own this and kind of curate that. And then I did check the boxes, but if my stylist has anything else they want to toss in, go ahead and toss it in. Um, it is a $25 style fee to get this box sent. That money does go, store, does go towards the items that you keep. If you're a Nordstrom card holder member, you don't have to pay the $25. Um, it's not a recurring subscription either. You just hop on when you want a box. And they give you five days to try on the clothes, which is really nice. They also offer style swipes. Comment below if you know what a style swipe is and if you enjoy them. I am addicted. I do Amazon's personal shopper style swipes, of course, Stitch Fix. I do them for all four people in my family. I do uh, front door fashions, uh, trunk clubs. I just do them all, I love them. And I just sit there and I'm like, like anybody cares what my opinion is, I'm throwing my opinion everywhere. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. But it does help my stylist curate boxes and it helps them order. Uh, free shipping and free returns on this box also, wanna toss that out there. So this is a Vince Camuto shoe. I don't remember which one it is. I looked through a lot of stuff that same week. Oh, that's cute. That's chic. That's very pretty. Oh my gosh, y'all. It smells so good. I actually do not own a boat. A boat. I wish I owned a boat. That'd be awesome. Um, I do not own a boot like this. And I, the Chunky Hill, I guess, is coming back. We're back to Chunky Hills. I'm down with it. So I'm gonna try these on um, with an outfit. So let's get let's get you some clothes before we try these on. What did I, what did I throw down here? Oh, it's the card for Vince Camuto. Next up, I have, what do I have? I guess I can just rip them to the bag. Ooh. My hubby gonna like these. Spanx tight pants. Um, I do not own these. I do own a couple of pair of pants like these. So we'll see. I know my hubby's gonna love these. This is definitely a sexy date night outfit. Is there a style card? Oh, here we go. I was like, I don't really wanna dive into the clothes unless I know what my outfits look like. Here we go. So this guy talks about the box, the pre-done shipping label and the seals to throw in the box for the stuff I want to return, if I want to return. I have a note from my stylist, and here is all the items inside my box. But what I'm curious about is, it doesn't have the outfits anywhere. I wonder if I can re-access that on my phone. I'm gonna take a peek and let you guys know about that. Okay, so I ran and grabbed my phone and opened the Trunk Club app. 
which is super easy to use. So you could order them online or using the app. And it has the outfits that my stylist Danielle has put together for me, which is key for me. I, I need to see what the stylist vision. So for this, I have the outfit here, um, the boots, the pants, there's a jacket shirt and earrings that go with it. So as we pull them out, we'll stack them and then we'll try them on. So this guy looks super cute. And I told them I wanted um, some night out work outfits slash date night outfits. I didn't need any more everyday clothes. Oh, this is cute. Love this as well. It zips all the way up the back and has a slit. That's cute. It's by Cupcakes and Cashmere. I do like that brand. Okay. Put that over there. What is this? It's like a grab bag of super excitingness. Like, let me show y'all in here again. Can y'all see that? I'm just grabbing things out. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, this is very soft. Oh wow, this is really pretty. Okay, so this is by Ally and Jay. I love that it has this little sleeve. It's a dress. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's wrinkled, so this is not doing it justice. But I will try this on for you guys. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. What's this? Oh, this is very pretty. A little scalloped top. It looks huge like it's going to swallow me, but it is, it's an extra small. I don't know, that looks huge, but I'll try it on. Good Blastic, Blastic? Blastic is a black basic top. Making words up now. Ooh, these are those earrings I was just referencing by Madewell. Those are cute. I don't know anything like that. Okay. I'm gonna put those over there so I don't get lost. I requested a denim jacket, so I'm super stoked to see a denim jacket in here. Uh, that is so throwback. That is so cute. Y'all, that's just so crazy. If I would have saved half of my clothes and if my mom would have saved the other half of her clothes, I would be like the greatest wardrobe ever. Super cute. It is a J. Crew jean jacket. I'll try to speed up so that I can show you all these things because I still want to turn around and put them on for you. Oh my gosh, it's a sweater dress. I love this. Hey, I've got a theme on my colors over here. This is super soft. I don't, I just, I love it. I don't know if it gets cold enough here in San Antonio for it, but I might just have to get it anyways. That is so cute exciting hey so this has a ribbon tied around it now these all busted out of the ribbon what is this oh this is one item this is legit how do I get in it is this a Levi's leather jacket oh yeah it is. Levi Strauss & Co. leather jacket, but it's it's a navy. It's not black, I don't think. Yeah, in navy. This thing is heavy. That is super cute. That is really cute. Oh, this guy's on a hanger. <gasps> I also said I wanted a blazer. So the two things I specifically said I wanted, a denim coat, and a blazer they did include in this box. I also feel like they are nailing exactly what I said in date night slash maybe kind of cool work night out outfits. Oh, I love that. I love that. Tommy Hilfiger. Look at those blues and greens. Those colors look good on me. I'm excited about that. Look at all these outerwear. Oh, I think I live in New York. Oh, this is cute. In. You guys can see this better. Ooh, that's sheer. That's a sheer top. It's by One State. Just a basic top. Very cute. 
but I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Very cute. And last but not least. Oh, I know what piece this is. I remember approving this piece. How do I get in? There we go. A, it's just a basic black dress with sleeves from Topshop. I love these flowy skirts. They're like a whole thing for me now. So, go. Okay, so I'm gonna take all of these items here and I'm gonna try them on for you and show you, show them and then let's vote. Like what I should keep, what I shouldn't keep, what looks good. And then I have five days to ship it back. And then to ship it back, I literally just slap the clothing back in here, put this label on, put these two stickies on, and I'm done. I'm going to be carrying this with me when I try on the clothes. This is the price sheet for all of the items inside so we can talk about if we think the value is there in the item. So, let's go try on clothes. Here's outfit number one. Every ounce, including the earrings, is from my trunk. I personally love it. Now here in San Antonio, I don't really know if there's ever gonna be an occasion where I can wear a long sleeve dress and a jacket. That might be stretching it. Um, the outfit total you see here is $349. The um, faux leather moto jacket by Levi is a size extra small, which is what I wear, and it's $88. Um, I think that's incredibly fair. And it's in navy, which I absolutely love. So, Tell me what you think. If y'all think I should keep this or not. Then the dress here that I am wearing, which I absolutely love. Let's see here. The fitted long sleeve tunic sweater dress in rust leather is an extra small and it's $85. I love it. I am wearing a pair of Madewell oval earrings they're $26 and they're like a tortoiseshell. I do love them. And then I have the boots. They're the most expensive part. The boots are by Vince Camuto. The Beniti pointed toe booty, they're $150. So that's kind of what spiked it. So if I run out of budget and I don't keep the boots, should I keep the earrings, the sweater, and the jacket? Or should I can the jacket and keep the boots? Y'all tell me, because I love it all, and I don't have a money dream. Okay, here's outfit number two. Not as wild about this one. Um, this one comes to $374. Of course, keep in mind the boots are $150 of that. Uh, this jacket is the classic denim jacket. It's 77 by J. Crew in an extra small. But if we take the jacket off, here's the dress. And I, I'm torn on the dress, y'all, I don't know. Part of me loves it, part of me doesn't. I feel like it's so close. The dress is the Edison Knights Jacquard Dress by Allie and Jay, size extra small, and it's 148. I think it's so wrinkled, and that's what's messing with me a little bit. Um, and I'm wondering if the wrinkles were knocked out if I would like it more. So y'all tell me yes or no. Like if I should keep this dress or not, it's worth 148. It's super comfy, way, way comfortable. And I do love the sleeves. Okay, let me know what you think. All right, outfit number three is $225 total. Remember the boots are 150, this is 75. Love the flowiness, it's so soft y'all. It has the side slits on both sides. I feel the same way with this. Like it's so close. Like I want to love it, but there's something just not, I don't know what. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the sleeves. I think I feel like they're, they look unfinished. I wish that they were fitted and I could like gather them. I don't know. I don't know. So give me feedback. Yes or no on whether I should keep this. It, very comfortable and it's under a hundred so that's pretty nice okay 
Here's outfit number four. It comes to just a little over $400 for this full look. I have the same moto jacket on that was $88 from earlier. Of course, the same boots. I'm weird about these type of skirts. I rarely find them where they fit, and this one fits. I love it. So this skirt is the faux leather pencil skirt by Cupcakes and Cashmere. It's $108. And then this top is the Living in Yellow City Safari Scalloped V-neck tank, and it's 54, and it's by Gibson. Now, don't quote me on this one, but I'm pretty sure Gibson is going through and partnering with very influential fashion stylists, and they are creating their own line. And by the name of this being Living in Yellow, I think this is one of the blogger Living in Yellow's personal line over by Gibson and Nordstrom. I'm totally gonna be looking that up. If y'all wanna check her out, go to Living in Yellow. She is amazing, but I think this is her top. So here we go. Yes or no? Do we love it? Is it okay? If we take the jacket out, it's around $300. Do we think it's worth $300? Well, let me know. Okay, here's my next outfit. I love it. I need a, a very well fertilized money tree in my backyard right now because Trump Club is knocking it out of the park. And I have sent this same I copied and pasted my style request, and this is my fourth box to try it on, and Trump Club is the first one to nail it completely. Of course, I'm gonna have to make some choices. This outfit is $502, and I love it. The boots remind you, same boots, same earrings, 26 and 150. These Spanx leggings, which I was determined to hate because they're so hard to get on, I absolutely love. They're $98. Then this blazer, which I specifically requested, is the Black Watch Tartan Blazer, Tommy Hilfiger, size zero in green, is 169, and I love it. And this top underneath is the One State Extra Small High Neck Top, it's 59. So here's without the jacket. Jealousy the back. This is the top. I was worried it's gonna be see-through. And it is a little bit, but not bad. I think it works. And so, I don't know, you guys. I can't keep all of this. I mean, I wish I could. This would be amazing, but I mean, that's not how it works. So, with this, tell me, does the blazer fall on my booty where it's supposed to? Is it supposed to be higher, longer? Is it good? Give me some booty advice because I have no ass at all, so we have to make sure we get it right. And I'm wearing Sphinx, which squeezes everything in, which don't get me wrong, I love for my stomach, but it makes my tiny booty look even tinier. Tell me what you think in the comments. Okay guys, that's it. So in that box, there were 12 items that totaled $1,137, giving each of the items an average of $94.75. I really want to keep nine of the items, which would bring my total to 835. I can say two of the items, the Vince Camuto boots and the Gibson top, those two brands go on sale all the time at Nordstrom. It's sad that I know this, but I do. So for me, I will strategically buy the items that I know my wardrobe needs the most that I will be wearing right now, as in like I'm leaving tomorrow for a big girls mastermind weekend. There are some of these pieces I know I need this weekend, so I'm going to keep those. There are some of them I know will sell out. I'm going to keep those to make sure those don't get taken. But some of the other items that I know are gonna hang around, they typically hang around and that they may go on sale, I am going to send back and hold my breath in stocknordstrom.com like crazy to see if I can snag them on sale. Only because I don't have said money tree growing in my backyard. Um, I did realize that my 
stylist Danielle is the same stylist I had back in 2016. And I wanted to note that I work with a lot of subscription boxes. I get a lot of subscription boxes, especially in the fashion world. And they do not hold on to stylists. It is a high turnover is a problem a lot of them uh, run into. And so just had to say super impressed. And I'm also not surprised she nailed my box to perfection. I would keep this entire box if I could, if I could afford it. But in picking out, I will send at least three or four of those items back. The skirt, the skirt, the zips all the way down the back. My husband said he'll pay for that one. Only if he gets to, would I take it off, unzip it all the way down. So I will take whatever I can get. If him unzipping the skirt is what buys the skirt, I'm in. Okay guys, um, I'm gonna hop online, leave my feedback for my stylist. I'm actually probably gonna hop on my cell phone and check out and ship my box back. Um, but I'm gonna try to do it in a few days, like maybe in two to three days so that I can get feedback from you guys. So as quick as you can, even as you're watching the video, give this video a thumbs up, leave the comments on the outfits below so that I can have some outside feedback. I want to break out of my rut and I want some new things in my wardrobe and I know you guys can help with that. Um, Danielle Trump Club, thank you so much. You absolutely nailed it and have been the only box to nail my style request yet. We'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.